basically now you're watching Eric TV. Um, I'm gonna be telling you a story about a girl whose name is Hope. Um, Hope was born into this world, not actually in a legal way, but an illegal way. Because to me, sorry to say, it is an illegal way. Okay, her mom dated this guy while she was 15, and you know, a boyfriend and a girlfriend kind of a relationship. Um, her mom got impregnant, and um, she had hope. And then they were not ready for parental responsibility, so they pushed hope over to the grandmother. And there you go, the grandmother really took hope in and took good care of hope for some time. But you know, age was no longer telling on her side, so she had to move hope over to the uncle. Hope mom remarried, and the husband said no to hope. He just want to have his kids and his kid alone. You know, some men can actually be like that. Um, I just want you, I don't want you to come into another person's child to my house. So Hope lived with her uncle and she was done with secondary school and she enrolled into university. You know, winds of life, winds of life blew and Hope was left to cater for herself. So she stayed country for herself, she met, she associated, she mingled with a lot of girls in school, the ones that smoked, the ones that drank to stupor, and the ones that equally lived a decent life. And it was high time Hope took her life. And she pointed, she made a fingerprint, or she made a print, a blueprint, let's just say a blueprint. Okay, she made a blueprint to get money to take good care of herself and equally support her siblings too. <sighs> Actually, Hope's stepfather was helpful, but he's this kind of man that does not believe in education. He just, when I give birth, my children sort themselves out. Some people are like that. I mean, we have religions in Nigeria, like houses, who does the same way. They give birth and they allow their children to cut up for themselves. So that was what it is. 